On Saturday evening, they can expect to hear a concert of choral music accompanied by wind and brass based around two masses, the great E minor mass of Anton Bruckner written in the 19th century and the only mass written by Igor Stravinsky in Los Angeles in the 20th century. B both of these masses are based in uh, the earliest music, Gregorian chant, Palestrina, Monteverdi, but they're, they're, the way that they are um, created is totally different. There is something very primal about chanting. Of course, it's not only used in a religious context or in church, but in all kinds of other activities in life. Chanting is also relates to these two composers because of where they're from, because the roots of these chants are in Eastern European and, and Russian music. Hence, Stravinsky, of course, being a Russian, returns to his very, very early roots to find inspiration in his mass. Bruckner, in the same way, from Austria, aiming toward the East. Um, so they, so they, but they work them out in, a, in totally opposite ways. Bruckner uses the, the material in the way that perhaps Bach and Beethoven, his predecessors, do rigorously working the, 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 the chants into, into a pattern, into a, a tapestry, if you like. Stravinsky, on the other hand, takes all of that away. Very stark, simple chanting, no emotion at all, but mixed with the wonderful florid decoration that you find in the music of, say, Palestrina. We are very lucky to be accompanied, or I should say, collaborating with the Guildhall Wind Ensemble from the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. This is an ensemble of wind and brass instruments based on the, uh, the, the choices made by Bruckner. Um, but they're absolutely fine young musicians, some of the best young musicians I think anywhere could be found. It's a great opportunity for eclectic voices to work with great young instrumentalists, and it's a wonderful opportunity for the instrumentalists to work with a choir of the quality of eclectic voices. I, I think they're wonderful pieces of music. They're both masses, they're both very personal to the composers, and I find that not only attractive, but uh, enlightening. So when I'm directing these pieces or, or helping uh, our choir to learn them, I find them endlessly inspiring and inventive. Stravinsky's piece for me has a freshness and a brightness that I don't find in any other music like that. And Bruckner's piece on the other hand has a, a real sense of devotion, of belief that is very rare in any, any choral music.